in a while I haven't seen you in a while have we uh, so today is I think two days after Christmas and my parents are here and we haven't been on a date for over two months and so JT and I are going on a date night our first date night in Denver oh I'm carrying my I know you girls wonder I'm carrying my Chanel reissue 226 yes and my Stuart Wiseman boots but I'll show you guys my outfit later these are my Stuart Wiseman I don't bust these out too much but these are my Stuart Wiseman 50-50 boots. Oh, I love it. And they're the over the knee boots. They're so comfortable. They're like three inches, but really comfortable. My Gigi Marmont belt. This Forever 21 long sleeve floral dress. Uh, <laughs> this car is about to hit you, honey. It's okay. <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah. And this uh, trench is actually, believe it or not, from middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of like pieces that I've kept from middle school and high school. They just come back in style and I keep like, uh, so I have a lot of jackets. And then I'm wearing my Chanel reissue and no jewelry today. Well, maybe this little um, ring that my mom bought me from Taiwan. It's a matching like knot bracelet. But yeah, let's go walk. Come and join us. The walk's really pretty. There's like a lot of lights. Look, the sacrifice of taking off a jacket all for a picture in 30 degree <laughs> weather. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Actually, it's not, it's not that cold um, next to the fire. No. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. Okay, you ready to go eat? My belt keeps falling. I feel like I need to put another hole in here. You're losing so much weight. Mm. Oh, by the way, I didn't get to finish. This dress is for Forever 21, $15. And um, I'm wearing my Dior lips from um, the Dior lip kit. And it is Distinct Matte, my favorite one. Okay, you ready to go eat? Yeah. Okay. We're really excited. This is like our first date night and uh, we have not been out in a really long time. The ambiance is so sexy. It's just what we asked for. We, didn't, we just like randomly chose a place. It's gonna, you shall see how cool it it's is. It's very sexy. It's very much us. And I feel so like claustrophobic and so pent up with the kids and no date night. So now I feel so much better. Right, <laughs> Although go. I did like it. Let's see what you got now. Side of the restaurant, or oh, yeah, the side of the restaurant, and we wanted to talk a little bit, but our food's ready, so we'll probably have to come back out. I don't know, because yeah. I kind of really want to talk about like our experience here, and I kind of want to get JT in the vlog. He just wanted to be in the vlog. It was funny. We we're downstairs, and some girls like saw JT with the camera, and she's like, "I do some modeling. You know, me and my girlfriend do modeling. If you want to get my number." <laughs> but it was cute. She was genuine about it. I think. I don't know, I can't, I can't tell with girls nowadays. <laughs> and then I walk by and she's like, oh, yeah, I was just saying. <laughs> I was just saying, um, I model. <laughs> it's cute. I will say Denver is a different animal, that's for sure. I think we stick out like a sore thumb because we get looks a lot. I don't know why. What do you think, honey? Uh, I think I'm just really good looking and people notice that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes. That's true. Oh, I like the light. But you want to go eat? Yeah, let's go get our food. Okay. But I do want to hang out here a little bit with you. For sure.
like most of the vlog was kind of um, just mostly me, and so I feel like I'm kind of interviewing JT. This is a like impromptu interview. No, I, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, Denver because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about how our move has been. So, what do you think of uh, Denver so far? I love it. Um... Can you hear us? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I mean, I'd speak up, but yeah, I mean, I love it. I think it's a very interesting town. Love the architecture. Uh, miles and miles of period homes, craftsmen, Tudor, uh, sprinkled with lots of mid-century modern, ultra-modern, especially in our neighborhood, very eclectic. Uh, it's just a different scene. You know, it's, it's very different from the East Coast, very different from the West Coast. The sun is out all the time, so it's not even that cold. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. I feel like um, I know a lot of you guys have asked because for some reason Denver, or Colorado is like the place to be. I don't know why. A lot of people want to move here. Um, we. Well, I don't. That's not the reason why I moved here. Not me. No, but that's me. why. I moved here. <laughs> yeah. No, but like I moved here because I've always wanted to move here. We want an adventure, and we wanted four seasons, and so. Um, yeah, so I totally agree with JT. I feel like, so now that we've been here for a month, I feel like I'm starting to like it. And like now that we're here in the scene, like yeah, this is like what we love. Uh, Texas, San Antonio is kind of like up and coming. It's kind of getting there, but it's not up to par of what we like. Um, but I really do like it here. The people are interesting here. They're not as friendly. They're not like the South. So I love you Texans. Yeah. And um, I will say the house is a lot cooler here. It's like being on another planet too. It's so like, strange. It's like the it's a different culture, but I think that we're making the best of it. And um, the first couple, the first week was really difficult because we got altitude sickness. I'll tell you about that in another video. But um, yeah, we're really liking it. And um, but yeah, I want to worry about the general population or the you know every city has a a personality like New York and Boston and San Antonio. Uh, but Denver, you know, as we gain friendships and we, we'll create our own little bubble of amazingness, so I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, I would say people are not as friendly here, but they're friendly. They're friendly, but not as friendly as Texas. But it's a city too, though. When you're in the city, people are going to work, they're yeah. doing this, they're on the road, you know. Yeah. Like if you're out in the country, it's like, smile and wave, I've yeah. got nothing else to do but look at you and smile and wave. Um, so. It's funny because JT got mad because, um, not mad, he just never gets mad, but like, you know, we're so used to Texas like waving at people and saying, hey, you know, in the car. Like when he first came here, people were like me mugging him. He's like, hey, and they're like, and I noticed when I wave. In our neighborhood. Yeah, when I wave, like people are, are like, just like, so now when I wave at people, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like waving at them and they're like, oh, hello, not person from Denver. But yeah, we really haven't met friends here, but we don't really, River, well, we don't really, I mean, we met people, but they're not like open like it is in Texas, and we are hard to like, well, it takes meet. time to get good friendships too, yeah, like, I think that we're really good friends, so we don't really need more friends, but it'd be nice to find like, we a will. little like bubble, but so. what, what happens is Tabby will end up friending people I work with, always, right, well, usually, you know, I don't really like people, either. I mean, I like, well, them. Jenny's one of your best friends, that's um, how you met her, yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, and then what's the restaurant we went to tonight? Oh, Departure? Oh, yeah, so we're eating at Departure. We're sitting at the bar, and right now we're just hanging out in the lobby. It's and it's what? Halkion. We have to stay at Halkion. We stayed at it's the sexy. Art Museum <laughs> last time, and it was like <coughs> nice, but this is like, this is our pace. Like, we love this. The ambiance. Yeah, but yeah. this place, uh, Departure, whoa, it's funny, because when we moved to Denver, a lot of people were like, oh, you know, go here, go there, but uh, the school district was a big decision. And so we actually live across the street in a neighborhood. So there's, I guess, tons of really nice dining and accommodations and, yeah. uh, you know. Oh, I forgot to tell you, a lot of you guys were asking where we live. Um, I will not tell you where I live, but we, <laughs> <laughs> but we live near Cherry Creek. So if you know, like Cherry Creek, where like, um, it has like the mall, Cherry Creek Mall, it has Hermes, it has. Um, well, we're in Cherry Creek right now. Yeah, essentially we're in Cherry Creek. So we live like two minutes up the street. Uh, location, I won't tell you. But Slightly better neighborhood. <laughs> the better one. <laughs> number one school district. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's fun. So uh, yeah, that's a little mini update. If you guys have any other oh. questions about Denver or Colorado or experience, leave them down below and we'll be sure to answer them. So. Oh, one thing I forgot. So Tabby and I have come to the conclusion that one of our favorite parts, well, it's been so long since we've lived somewhere cold and in the snow. Uh, but one of our favorite parts about being here is we're able to wear all these cool clothes. <laughs> yeah. Jackets, scarves, you know, yeah. hats, I, I will say my fashion is very surround. Like, I'm very focused on, like, the winter attire. I love boots. I love jackets. 
I love, yeah. That's, yeah. Essentially, I have so many of them in Texas, I've never been able to wear them. So now I'm like busting them all out. Yeah, so. we'll get a good winter, a good four season, so. Yeah, but thanks so much guys. We'll continue to eat. We're waiting for our last menu and then. Oh, but so far this place is off the chisels. Yeah, and I was thinking about taking JT the memes to show him one thing that I like. <laughs> I'm, but I am planning on selling something. Like I'm not just we'll see, buying we'll impulsively. But so <laughs> now that it's on the camera. <laughs> yeah. No, but anyways. But thanks for joining us, and then I hope that you guys will like this, and um, we're gonna continue to eat and have dessert and more champagne. Champagne. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Cheers. How'd you think of dinner? I feel like. I don't know if you guys are, probably some of you guys are parents out there, but like, I really felt like that was um, something I definitely needed. We don't, we have a hard time finding babysitters, and so this is definitely some like a remedy, like an escape kind of. And the food was delicious, and the drinks were good, the ambience was nice, and I got to spend time with JT, so that was really nice too. But yeah, overall a really good night. I'm really happy. I'm sad it's ending though. <laughs> What'd you think, honey? Oh. I loved it. You loved it? I love the food. Really sexy. You can see your breath, Ooh. which is nice. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at these shoes that we got him for Christmas. Oh, you had to show off my shoes. Tabby's <laughs> mad because I didn't wear my good dress shoes to a nice <laughs> restaurant. But I told her, hey, you know. We never go on date nights. When you're doing it. <laughs> We never go on date nights, so I figured he need to wear his nice shoes. We don't want to go on date nights anymore. But yeah. we need to find a babysitter. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So, but it was fun. We could always give her up for adoption. I'm just <laughs> oh, she's so JK, nice. JK, we've got the 35 millimeter lens, so I gotta stretch yeah. out my arm like this. She goes, <laughs> Oh, it's cold. Can't be warm. You filming? Yeah. Oh, I always do that. <laughs> It is the end of the night and uh, we just finished eating and spending some time together. We hope that you guys had fun with us and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to thumbs up. And we will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for joining us on date night. Destruction full of desire